everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of GenAI Vlog. So I got a couple of requests asking me about code generation uh, in the sense that uh, perhaps the business leaders and uh, the stakeholders, PMs, right? They want to take a look at the data, right? They don't necessarily want to code. How do we do that, right? How do we get it in a way that's automated without having the non-technical folks to go through programmers? Are they able to use natural language as an interface to retrieve data and arrive with some sort of visualization? So in the next couple of videos, we're going to dive into how to do that. And as a starter, in this particular video, we're going to talk about a quick tutorial of SQLite. So we can set up some sort of database on the spot as a sample data before we move on to do other things. So with that being said, let's turn our attention to the code app. Let's open a block of code. We're going to use SQLite. So the way to do that is to import SQLite 3. That's going to give us a package. Then we want to connect to a database, right? So in the case that I'm just going to give a name, example DB, this is going to stand on a database. And I'm going to make sure my directory is refreshed so that you can see that this file is created here. So once I instantiate this connection, I then need to throw in a couple of things, right? I need to see, hey, you know, uh, if the table already exists, right? And that tells me what it is. Uh, here are the column names. And then I need to give a couple of data, right? So for the sake of video, I'm just going to throw in some random data. This is just random data I made up uh, with a couple of stocks, buy, sell signals, and maybe some prices, things like that. So nothing crazy here. It's just an array of tuples. So Let's define that, and that's our start data. You can plot it out, and you're going to get an idea of what that looks like. Now what's going to happen is we are actually going to insert this into the database line by line. Uh, so what I mean by that is to use a for loop, and the for loop is going to take every single row of the stock data and execute this line of SQL query. Uh, so SQL query says insert into stocks uh, with the values, so on and so forth. So you run that line of code, the data is now stored in the example DB. Just like that, you see this file being created on the left-hand side. So you got to commit it, right? So con.commit, that's going to make sure that this changes is reflected in the database. Now you want to fetch something, right? So for time being, I'm just going to do something very simple. Select star from stocks. The star means select everything. So this is going to print out every single row. Boom, just like that. And whatever's being printed here should be identical as what we have above in the sample data. So that's pretty much it, right? After that, what you want to do is you want to close the connection. And the way to do close connection is to say conduct close. And once you run that, it's going to shut down the connection and you will not be able to execute anything from that connection. So if I run this code again, uh, it's going to give me some sort of error saying, well, we can't find it. So that's going to be the most foundation thing that we do. And uh, as a wrap up in this video, we talked about how to use SQLite 3 to set up a connection, uh, to create a fake data, to get some data contents in there as a toy data. And then we talked about how to retrieve it by using SQL. So. That sets up the stage, right? Next episode, we're going to come back. We're going to see how to use large language model to generate the SQL code for us and how to build an agent to retrieve the data from the database using SQLite that we created up here and to generate some sort of visualization. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.